Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to your sixth lesson on PHP programming. And today this is titled String Functions, but specifically what I want to talk about is learning how to learn. And as I've mentioned earlier, I could make tutorials in PHP for the rest of my life and never cover it all, because it's such a rich topic. So how do you, in a sense, sift through that knowledge and learn how to learn PHP on your own? Well, after you've gone through my tutorial series, you've got the basics of PHP, but your best friend is PHP. Dot net because on there is all the documentation on how to use the different functions in PHP. And this can be used in two ways. First of all, if you're a new developer, you can actually come here and look up different methods, and we'll do that, and you'll get actual PHP code on how to use it. But another thing, if you're an experienced programmer, but new to PHP, you're always thinking in your mind, how do I do that? I know how to do that in this one language. How do I do it in the other? And www.php.net is your best friend when finding out how to translate one language into another. So once you're here on this site, just type in what you want to work with. So for example, today we're going to talk about string functions. So let's just type in string functions and hit return. So up will come all these different possible string functions. And at the bottom, hey, you want to learn more about string functions? Let's go to a manual. So if you click on that link, it'll take you directly to a PHP manual on string functions. And you'll end up this page on string functions, and you'll learn more about string functions than you ever could imagine. And it lists all the various different string functions that are. Isn't that amazing? Wow! You'll never use all of these, but some of them are vitally important. For example, let's go to string length. So many times when you're parsing strings, you actually need to know their length first. You can actually parse through them. And in order to do that, you need this string length method. Now, how do you run that? Well, just click on it, and you'll get code on how to use it. So I've clicked on string length, and now I'm actually paging through the documentation here. Uh, the first part actually shows you how it's actually built its method and what kind of variables it requires. And as you go through that, you're going to page down a little bit, and here's the actual method and how you use it. So we can actually take this, just copy it, and put it in our boilerplate and run it. Let's do that right now and show you how powerful this is. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put it right into our boilerplate. And you can do this for any myriad of functions that exist in PHP. And this actually is the best way to do it. And below that, there's tons of comment, and people have given you code. code. And below that, there's tons of comment, and people have already given you code that's been written that shows you how to use um, this PHP method. So this is a marvelous uh, resource. And the more you use it, the better you'll get at PHP. So let's go back to our boilerplate. And now with that up, let's paste that code that we copied from the documentation right in there. And what I've got here is basic, we'll call this lesson six, string functions. And let's examine this code and determine what it's going to do. Well, the first part declares a string. And the second part is just going to echo back the string length. And so in this case, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six. It should echo back six. So let's go ahead and add just a little bit to this code. I actually want to create another line, so I'll dot and hit my break tag so I have some nice formatting here. It doesn't do anything with the code, just basically gives me a return, so my next answer appears on the next line. And uh, the next one would be what? Now I have a space, so spaces are counted as well. So in this case, I'm going to create a string. And notice in this particular case, I'm actually using a single quote. You can use single quote or double quote when you're working with uh, strings. I actually use the double quote because the curly bracket convention does not work with single quotes. So I'm going to use my uh, quotes, and let's use the double quote here instead, just to show you they both work. And how many should I have in this string? Well, it's going to count the number of strings. There should be a space. That's actually a string. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more space. That would be seven. So that's what I should see as that answer. Let's go ahead and save this and run the code. And we'll call this uh, string function. Let's save it, and let's run it in our browser. Localhost localhost uh, slash a php course slash string functions dot php let's run that and we do indeed see that for our first string we get a link six and for our second string we get a link seven so actually that code is working i didn't have to write it i just copied and pasted directly from the documentation let's do a little bit more with it let's bring up some lorem ipsum and paste that in there for our string and do a little processing so it has some lorem ipsum that i've actually got right here uh, in my uh, clipboard, and let me copy that. Control C for copy. Let me go back to my um, string, and I'll just paste it all in there. 
There you go. And uh, I want to see how long that is. And so I can run that length. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to uh, do a little bit of processing on that. So I'm going to paste in a number of string methods here, and you can see how I use those. So I'm back in the code, and what I've done, I've actually declared a string variable and actually stuck a basic a string in it, and I struck Lauren Epson. Now, if you're a designer, you know what Lauren Epson is. It's basically a typesetting language, and a lot of designers use it as basically as filler code or filler text when they're creating designs. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is print out its length, and I've already discussed that uh, method. But I have a bunch of other methods I'd like to discuss. And what we're going to do is here's an uppercase first. We'll uppercase the first. Here's an uppercase first words. Here's a string uppercase. We'll uppercase the entire string. Here's a string lowercase. It'll lowercase the entire string. Here's a string length. You've already seen that one. Here's basically, this is pretty cool, find a word in the string. So what it's going to actually do is go and find the word dois. And it'll just print the string on from that point on. And finally, here's a replace. So I'm going to take the word dois and replace it with the name Michael. So all these are really cool methods, but there's just myriads of methods in PHP. And the best way to learn those, decide you want to do something, go to the PHP documentation, type that in, and play around with the different methods and code that you find there. So let's go ahead and save this and run it and see if these different methods do what we expect them to do. So go File Save. Go back to your browser. And we already have PHP string functions in there. So let's click on that and let's run it. And whoo hoo, look at all of that. So we see a lot of things happening here. We see right away that we have, uh, so let me move that over. And we see a lot of things happening here. And we see we have 446 characters involved. We did uppercase the first uh, beginning uh, letter. Next, we uppercase the entire section. Then we lowercase everything. See, everything's just working perfectly. We did the length method again. We did a find. So notice that that notice that doist appears here in the original text, but with the find we actually came along here and just started right where doist appeared. And the find we did replace, we put Michael in for Duris. So these are just wonderful methods and they run very efficiently. And so it's your job basically to go back to the PHP documentation, figure out what you want to do, and write your own code. So what did we cover in this lesson today? We covered, of course, how to make a string, and then how to process that string using various methods that exist in the PHP code. Now, how do you find out about those methods? Most important, guys, if you get anything out of this lesson, go to the documentation. It is rich, and everything you'd want to know about PHP is there. So www.php.net is your best friend when learning these different methods and functions. And once you click on a method of interest, then you just click on it, it'll take you to the code that you need to run it. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively. I'll see you next time.